Hey vlog! Today I want to do a little sit down video and show you some of the venues that we found in Southwest Florida. Uh, these girls. <laughs> the moms. Anyways, let's get comfy and talk about the venues that we went to tour in Southwest Florida. Okay, so how we did it, just a little background on how we decided on where to look, where to start. There's a lot of venues in Tampa, St. Petersburg, um, but we decided not to go all the way up there. We live in the Fort Myers area and we did not want to go too high up. Um, so we kind of wanted to narrow it down between Sarasota, Naples, and we actually went and toured one venue on the East Coast. And the reason why we wanted it to be areas like that and not exactly where we live right now is because a lot of our family and friends are gonna be coming from the Midwest in the spring and they wanna get away from the cold. So we wanted to make sure that we were in an area that was easy for them to get around, that there was a lot of things to do. We wanted them to be in an area that was already set for a little vacation, close to the beach, buy a lot of things to do, places to go out. So yeah, we, we were considering a lot of different things, but honestly, honestly, our top two areas were Sarasota and Naples. Okay, so one weekend, we decided to go up to Sarasota, and that was our first couple of venues that we toured. We scheduled three tours for that day, and we pretty much had it narrowed down to those three. We knew we did not want to get married in a hotel because we had previously actually seen one. That was actually our very first one. That was a while back and I actually have some clips from it so I can insert some clips from that very first venue that we went to see. But here are the clips from when we went to tour our very first venue. Did I do way too much blush today? Huh? No. Why did I build this? Good morning vlog. We are in Sanibel just because we came to our very first venue. It was our very first wedding venue and let's just say shit feels real now. We saw our first venue and I feel like at this point we've realized, or at least I have realized, I'm not talking for you, that I don't know if a hotel wedding is like what we're looking for or what I'm looking for. It was nice, but if, if we could rent out the whole ho whole hotel, then maybe, but it's just you, there's a lot of areas where people are just gonna be kind of watching you. Yeah, So. and like you would get married, so we went to see one hotel where we would get married right in front of the pool. And that to me is just like not my vibe. And the rooms, like the reception rooms were really cute and they had ocean views and this and that, but again, not my vibe. We wanted like a private event. Not like uh, just where there's like random people wandering maybe. Yeah, and I can insert a little clip. I got a little clip for to show my dad. Um, so I can insert a little clip of the different sections, but it's just not our vibe. Well, this would be ceremony. they disappoint <laughs> unless we have to like scratch and start from zero but we're feeling pretty confident right now we're excited 
and it just feels so real now that we're like actually jumping into it and I did talk to a wedding I've talked to a few wedding planners slash coordinators and I'm really excited about one that could just help me bring our vision to life so we're trying to just get those initial um, steps completed and then we'll have the ball rolling pretty much we just really wanted to jump into the venue because we want to have a date and we don't have a date right now we're like being flexible with that because we want to find like the right venue yep it's pretty much the rundown wedding planning the reason why we jumped into venue hunting right away was because we wanted to secure our date and then we could just kind of chill and relax we wanted to make sure that we could get married next year in the spring and we were flexible with the date we just wanted to kind of have a date locked down we quickly came to find out that people are engaged for a long time sometimes that people are literally booking now in 2024 this was february 2024 people were booking their weddings for 2026 which was insane and we quickly found out that we were on a race against time to find this venue because the Saturdays were running out. Like the first venue we went to see in Sarasota did not have a Saturday. Second venue had two Saturday, two Saturdays that were probably not gonna work for us. And the third one I think had a lot of availability, but we just didn't even. Anyways, back to Sarasota. The very first venue we toured in Sarasota was the Powell Crossley. The Powell Crossley Estates. It was just so beautiful. They were prepping for a wedding and they had a huge tent in the backyard. The water, the inside is just beautiful. Um, there's so many areas to get ready for photos and it's that romantic Italian vibes that I'm looking for. Our only hesitation was that one was that we would pretty much rent the venue and we would have to bring everything in from the outside. So we thought that maybe that would be a little bit more work than what we wanted to put in. So we were open to evaluating other options. After that one, we went to the Selby Botanical Gardens in downtown Sarasota. Selby Botanical Gardens was absolutely beautiful. Honestly, it caught me by surprise. I did not know what to expect, but it was actually very beautiful. It's just that we weren't fully convinced it was their style, but I thought it was gorgeous. That day they were hosting a super luxurious wedding. So I think I kind of liked it a little bit more because it was already kind of set up and decorated. Um, but it had a beautiful view of downtown Sarasota and it was so romantic. Um, I was just not fully sold on it afterwards. The last venue that we saw in Sarasota was a long boat, Longhorn Boat, Longhorn Boat Hotels. And I knew I wasn't going to like this one off the bat because it was a hotel, but they did have beautiful beach weddings. And I knew I didn't necessarily want a beach wedding, but I wanted to kind of see when I was there if I could envision myself having a beach wedding. We also wanted to check it out because they have amazing wedding packages and they have really good pricing compared to a lot of other things that we've seen. So we wanted to give it a shot because of that. But if you're looking for a beach wedding, the Longhorn Beach Resort is beautiful. We wanted to go tour a lot of venues in Naples, but we actually didn't end up touring many because a lot of them were way out of our price range. So we kind of honestly discarded Naples for a long time. Sorry, my camera died, so I made a little so I made a little afternoon pick-me-up coffee. I was talking about Naples and how we didn't go see many of them, but there was one that I kept seeing on Instagram over and over and I was like, "Okay, we need to go look at this one. So I made an appointment randomly on like a Wednesday. And we went and we were blown away. We absolutely loved it. It's in a country club, but it's just beautiful. Um, I can, you'll see in the clips, it's just, it speaks for itself. And then we looked at the packages and they were, again, decent for what we had seen. They had 
it was it just seemed like the easiest option they had in-house catering the place was absolutely beautiful already that with little decoration um, it would go a long ways and it was just honestly breathtaking like after that I told Riley this is it but he insisted because we are really excited about the crane club in Port St. Lucie so one day we drove to the east coast to the Atlantic side and we drove to Port St. Lucie it was about almost three hours away from where we live right now and it was just a beautiful beautiful property it was just stunning huge and you would get the whole place to yourself it was super pretty and luxurious after touring all the whole place it seemed like they had one area for the ceremony one area as backup they had the cocktail hour was designated to one area the one thing i loved about this place was the, was the ballroom i loved the ballroom at the crane club it's stunning i really liked the crane club is just after being there it just was not we were just not vibing with it mainly i wasn't vibing with it as much as i wanted to so we actually decided to go back sign our contract in naples and now we have a wedding date and a wedding venue and it's just so exciting we are so pumped for a wedding and now the really fun part begins which is the planning so stay tuned for all sorts of videos we're hopefully gonna go and dress shop soon and yes may the wedding series continue thank you so much for watching and i'm just so happy that i'm recording all these memories for in the future for when we're older and 25, 50, 60 years married and we can watch these videos and reminisce on this just beautiful moment in our lives. We're so happy, we're so grateful for everything and we're just so excited for our wedding. Can't wait to marry you, Rye.